Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video tutorial under JavaScript for beginners and today we are going to be starting off with a new subtopic that is jQuery UI. So it's different from jQuery in fact it is built on top of jQuery. So up until now we've been going through a lot of jQuery fundamentals. So we've seen the basics of selectors, we've seen events, we've seen effects, we've seen some inbuilt methods also for DOM manipulations. So I thought let's take this to the next level because as we move ahead you know Along with jQuery, this jQuery UI is also a framework or a library which is used a lot in practical scenarios and since this video tutorial series is all about you getting the practical knowledge that is you getting something which you will actually implement, I thought let's include jQuery UI also in this entire tutorial series at least the fundamentals. Obviously we won't be going through each and every detail because it can be completely a separate video tutorial series itself just on jQuery UI but I really wanted this fundamentals to be cleared for you guys so that you can actually implement some some of these things in real world scenarios. Okay so with that being said let's just take a little bit of theory on what jQuery UI is and then we'll also include this new library into our project so that we'll do in the end of this video. Let's just first understand what jQuery UI is. So jQuery UI is a powerful JavaScript library built on top of jQuery JavaScript library. So we already have been going through jQuery library right so jQuery is a predefined pre-written library which is open source for us which we've been using throughout the last few video tutorials in this series. So what is jQuery UI? It's another JavaScript library which is built on top of jQuery JavaScript library. So the UI stands for user interface and you'll understand why it is called UI. So basically it is set of plugins for jQuery that adds new functionality to the jQuery core library. So it adds more functionality, more features, more user interface widgets and all on top of jQuery okay. So we know that jQuery is the core library and jQuery UI is built on top of it okay. This is clear. So if you want to use jQuery UI you must include jQuery 2. So this is prerequisite okay. So that's why we've been covering jQuery fundamentals so that now jQuery UI can be easily understood by you and although it was not planned for this entire tutorial series I still think that jQuery UI is very important for you guys to understand so that you can actually use a lot of things in the practical real world scenarios. Now again just like jQuery, jQuery UI is free and open source software or soft library we can directly use it and this was a little bit of introduction. So what does jQuery UI provide us as extra okay. So jQuery UI provides us with interactions. So interactions are something that you do with the HTML elements on the web page on the front end. So you can have draggable, droppable, resizable, selectable and sortable kind of features. So you can see sometimes we get advanced user interfaces wherein you can drag and drop some elements on the HTML UI. For example, let's say you have a very interactive and nicely designed calendar and you can drag and drop the different tasks onto different dates of the calendar, sort of something like that, okay. Then we have different widgets such as accordion, autocomplete, buttons, check radio button, date time picker and all these things are provided inbuilt in jQuery UI which adds a lot of features, a lot of functionality and we'll go through a couple of them in this series. Then we have a lot of effects, extra effects, we already have a lot of effects in jQuery but then jQuery UI adds even more effects on top of it. We get a lot of utilities, menu and navigation bar functionalities and a lot more okay. So this was a little bit of jQuery UI introduction and if you are wondering where do you get this library from, we will be getting it from their main website. There are many other websites wherein you can directly use CDN type of functionality also but we are going to be using their main website that is jQueryUI.com. So with that being said let's actually go to their website, download this library onto our system and include it in our project. Okay so as you can see on the screen this is their official website jQueryUI.com. I'll drop the link in the video description or you can google it out and you can read through it, you can go through the API documentations and all but as of now we just want to include this library offline so we'll just have to download it. So you can see this table version, just click on it and the download will begin. So there you go, you can see the download is complete. Right click on it, show in folder, it will be in your downloads folder. Just extract the files and you'll get a complete folder. Now a little bit of difference between jQuery UI and jQuery is that in jQuery UI what you get is you also get a lot of external CSS files and external images. Now because jQuery UI adds a lot of user interface widgets, there are some images also involved and there is some CSS also involved right. So that's why jQuery UI has a set of CSS and extra images also. The plain jQuery core library was only JavaScript but jQuery UI also has some CSS and also has some inbuilt images. So you need this complete folder 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this to make it simple. Let's do a jQuery UI only. And what we have to do is we have to completely copy this and include it into our code folder. So let's go to our code folder. I'm just going to copy this and this is our code folder. So as you can see, this is our code folder, which has the default.html page. So I'm just going to paste the entire folder over here. So this is our jQuery UI folder and inside which we have the main jQuery UI JavaScript file. We have jQuery UI CSS file. We have jQuery UI dot structure CSS file and we have jQuery UI dot theme file. So these are the three or four different files which we have to include in our project. Okay. So now that we have downloaded the entire jQuery UI library, let's try to actually include it into our project. So open up your Visual Studio code or any text editor that you've been using. So now that you've opened up your Visual Studio code, what you can do is completely drag and drop your entire code folder and all these folders will come over here. You can see this is our default.html. Now this is a blank default.html page with just the little bit of HTML coding. We have the head tag inside which we have a custom style sheet. So in the CSS folder, we have a style sheet which has some little bit of style code. You can completely erase it off because right now we don't have any style. So this is an external style sheet, which we have linked in the previous couple of videos. Coming back to the default.html, we have the body. Now let's actually just run this file by clicking go live. Okay. So as you can see, this is our output of this file because we only have one heading tag, which says introduction to jQuery UI, but we still have to include all the jQuery UI library files. That is one of the JavaScript file. So let's include that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste this entire thing and paste it over here. But now, you know, the source is inside jQuery UI slash and we want the JS file. So jQuery hyphen UI dot JS. So this is that JavaScript library for jQuery UI. And we also have to include three different CSS style sheets, right? For the jQuery UI, because jQuery UI has a set of CSS style sheets also and set of images also. Now, very important thing to note that this jQuery UI dot JS file has to always be after the core jQuery file. Okay. Don't forget this. If you include this above the core jQuery file, it can cause a lot of errors because you know that the page is rendered line by line. So since jQuery UI is built on top of jQuery, jQuery always has to come first. Okay. So don't forget this. Keep this in mind. Now let's link the three different CSS. So I'm just going to copy paste this one, two and three times. Now this CSS is inside again jQuery folder only. So in jQuery, we have the first one that is jQuery UI dot CSS. The second one is jQuery UI dot structure dot CSS. And the last one is jQuery UI dot theme dot CSS. Okay. Now, if you observe each of these CSS files have their dot min dot CSS also. So whenever there is jQuery UI dot min dot CSS, it is nothing but a minified version of the jQuery UI dot CSS. Okay. So whenever you are into production, whenever you are actually making your website live, you usually use the min.css because the file size of that file is smaller than the actual CSS file. Okay. But the code inside it is pretty much the same, but yeah, that's about it. We've pretty much included all the jQuery UI necessary files, three different style sheets and one JavaScript file. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I'm going to wrap this video over here because we just wanted to take a little bit of introduction to what is jQuery UI and then also include the entire jQuery UI library into our project. In the next video, we'll see a couple of fundamentals on jQuery UI and, and understand the different widgets that we have. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your views are on jQuery UI. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.